Like arteries and veins in our own bodies, rivers and streams travel throughout Texas, carrying the very lifeblood, water and nutrients to our many different aquatic habitats upon which our plants, animals and people depend. Scientists monitor water flowing in rivers and streams, almost like doctors test our blood. They look at the quantity of water flowing and quality, or what's in the water. We need enough water flowing to feed aquatic systems downstream, with the right balance of nutrients flowing into those systems. The amount of water flowing in streams is called in-stream flow. You can see in-stream flow in long downhill runs, in deep areas that form pools, and in shallow areas causing riffles. And while stream flow in some Texas rivers is fed by springs, most of the water entering streams comes from rain runoff in a watershed. Rainfall can easily impact the size and flow of a stream, sometimes causing large-scale flooding. But flooding, or overbank flows, has its benefits. In fact, healthy rivers and the species that depend on them need a variety of flows during different seasons. Flow in nearly all of Texas's major rivers is changed or controlled by dams that form reservoirs. Dams do alter the natural flow regime, but they help minimize destructive flooding. The reservoirs they create generate hydroelectric power and supply water to homes, industries, and agriculture. But it's not a simple story. There is competition for water, and this is one of our biggest challenges in Texas. If we take too much water out of in-stream flow, aquatic organisms downstream may become stressed or die, and too little water reaching our estuaries and bays can even be harmful to our seafood. Everyone plays a role to reduce impacts on stream flow, simply by conserving water and protecting watersheds in our own neighborhoods, because what we do upstream ultimately impacts life downstream.